three bowls. Just to show you how small this world is. A few months ago or maybe a year or so ago. I don't know how long ago it was. But I did a job with some Hare Krishna devotees. And I met a gentleman who generally runs weddings. And then today I'm going to the hospital to visit my grandmother. And I'm on the bus and I noticed something that I never saw before. Which is a mandir for Mother Durga. This is the deity, the goddess Durga. And up above Durga, I noticed some pictures like what appeared to be Narsringha Bhagawan. I can see Lakshmi. I can see Saraswati. I see Varaha. And I'm, I'm like, okay, so I'm asking him, is this Varaha? He's like, this is Varahi. And he's like, this is Narsimhi. So I'm like, wait a minute. In my tradition, we say Narsimha, which represents the male. And we say Varaha, which is once again male energy. So I know I'm in a Dur Durga temple which is the goddess of the material world. And she's in charge. The mother energy is in charge in the material plane. So I asked myself, why does it say Narshim He? And why does it say Varahi? And this Prabhuji will explain. First of all, what's what's your name, Pandit? My name is Mr. Kumar. Okay. So I do the puja here in the temple. Okay. This is a temple of uh, Pratingra Devi. Uh, she's a form of Lord Parvati Mata. And... Uh, she is. She has many form. This form is uh, Narsimhi, okay. called Pratyangra Devi. Okay. And there is a lot of story background of her. And uh, she is uh, Simma Vagini and Simma Mugi, the face of Simma Mugi, and uh, Breda Bojini. That means she eats the dead bodies. Mm -hmm. And uh, Breda Vagini, she is. Uh, she travels on top of the body. Okay. And this is one of the greatest form of Parvati Mata, Pratyengra Devi, called also Simma Vagini, mm -hmm. Narsimini. Okay. She is a Lakshmi Rupini. So the gentleman. You was said Lakshmi Rupini. Yeah, the she is form, Lakshmi. the form of Lakshmi, right? Yeah, Rupini. she is a Lakshmi. She is a Saraswati. Everything. Okay, okay. So you ask me, is a male or female? Why are we calling her Narsimini? Until the wound begins in any jivas in this world, nobody knows is a male or female. All the wounds begins from the female only. From the female, mm -hmm. all the babies in the egg up to three months forms as a female. Then all the part grows as a male or female. So why we calling her is a uh, Simma Vagini is we never know God is male or female how the wind blows when the wind blows in any side of the earth we only feel it we never ask the wind is male or female so God also he is a Paramatma we cannot consider God as a male or female or it whatever it is and he comes in any form that was, as I know a little bit of this knowledge, so I'm just explaining to you. So what Sampradaya are you from? Like, would you be considered a Vaishnava or a Shivite? Um, what, what is your affiliation? What is your lineage that goes back? Like, are you a Shiva worshipper, Vishnu worshipper? Like, what, where do you fall in? Human being. Human being, fair enough. So we never saw Jesus, we never saw Allah, we never saw Vishnu, we never saw Vishnu, we never saw nobody. But we see each other right now. Mm -hmm. We must learn each other, looking at each other. God created us as a human being. We have to behave as a human being. Okay. Not that um, you are Christian, you are Muslim, I'm a Hindu or Vaishnava or Shiva worshipper, Vishnu worshipper. We are all human beings, that's all. We have to behave as a human being. God given us acting as a human being. So you act as a human being. That is all what you are. That's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's no particular sect or... Nothing. No? As my knowledge, that's all. Mm -hmm. Swami Vivekananda, he went inside the Kali Mata temple okay. and he asked Guruji Ramakrishna Paramatma that Kali Mata will give me anything. Mm -hmm. Krishna Paramatma, Ramakrishna Paramatma told him, you go and ask her, she will give you anything. 
so even though in the lowest part of suffering of vivekananda he was suffering he, he lost everything he lost his father wills everything he has no money in his hand wow. and he was very poor and when he went to kali mata you know what he asked kali mata was waiting for him and kali mata he was looking at him he says son what do you want you know what he told the mother what was that mother you gave me a i was born as a man human you gave me a, the, the acting as a man mm -hmm. rest of the life i want to act as a man that's all i don't want to be a swami ji i don't want to be a great saint i don't want anything you gave me a position of acting as a man mm -hmm. that what i want to be rest of in my life i don't want to be act like a monkey or i don't want to act like a dog i don't want to be act like a bad man mm -hmm. you gave me a part of acting action he acted as a great saint and he died at the age of very young age after he finished and he was his brother told him you were uh, getting you might die soon and he vivekananda told his brother my body is getting very bigger and bigger mm. why the reason he says my knowledge is getting bigger and bigger and finally my message is after i given the message my body will boom that's it mm. so that is a message god given to everybody we are only messenger to bring the message from there to here mm -hmm. and drop it and leave mm -hmm. that's it okay so why was i drawn here today i mean i could have went any place like i said i've never even seen this place before and i've taken this bus this way a thousand times why me why today of all days the reason is this why auspicious or see, what yes is it this is punishment see, what you know? is everything each man every night they go to sleep they die okay we dead we have to die every night because the spirit will come out mm -hmm. last night you had one question in you and he he brought it you to find the answer last night i had the answer for something where this answer will fit when i wake up i don't know where to give this answer you walked in i walked in and we both you asked me a question and he is answering through me and he asked the question through you that's wow. all we are just a, we are just a player of her only unch and unchi that's it I thank you very much Anytime. once again for this, all right? Yeah, sure. And you'll see me again. And all thank right. you for the prasad. Yeah, today thank I had you, Mother Kali prasad. He gave me a nice apple and he gave me some drops of water. So, you know, I'm going to enjoy that. Um, you know, this is all new to me once again, you know, just a baby in this journey of Krishna consciousness. And I just find it interesting that I run across a mother deity temple. And today happens to be two years to the day since my mother left this planet. Two years today. Two years ago today, December 23rd. And the auspicious thing about it is that the sun is now in its northern course. So it's in the, the upper portion of the cosmos. Actually, so it's actually safer to pass on or to leave this planet between the time of Capricorn and Cancer. If you leave this planet after cancer has risen, then you run every chance of taking reincarnation in the world of Amit, which is limitless. Limitless reincarnations throughout the animal kingdom. And by the way, he's doing a puja right now for the Shiva Linga. I think it's important that people see this. So he's anointing all of the Mortis with an auspicious milk. Shankar Shanti Jai Mahadeva
and I take this as a divine confirmation once again that somehow, some way, there's some connection between me and my mother across all of these eons and thousands and millions and trillions of miles, wherever she's at in the material worlds and the three worlds. I think that um, she's in good hands now, and she's well off to her next life. So now the Mortis are being anointed with water, holy water, water, and I just think this is a solemn moment, very, very divine. So that's it. Hare Krishna, and thanks for watching my videos as always. Jai. Uh huh.